You should now have everything installed and ready to run. Installing a servlet or a Java server page in the server is known as deploying it. We would be doing lots of deploying in this course, and there is more than one way to deploy things, but before you can deploy a servlet or a Java server page, you must have the server running, and there's more than one way to do that, too. You can start the server running from the command line this way. This script contains more than one command. The start domain command starts the server running. The default server installed as domain 1, so domain 1 must be specified on the command line. It's possible to have more than one domain. In fact, if you install the sample server, you installed another domain. Note the name and location of the log file. You might want to jot this down because it only tells you this when the server is first started. And there are server errors that will refer you to the log file. Most of these errors occur at startup and shutdown, but deploying things will also generate errors, so you can wind up looking there to find out why a deployment didn't work. Anyway, after this pause, you'll get the message that the server has been started and is ready. The server is up and running now and ready to be used, and you can stop it the same way you started it. Okay, we're back where we were. Nothing is running. If you prefer, you can start the thing with a mouse. A window appears, and you get the same message that you had before, that things are starting in the location of the log file. Then you get this message that it has started, and you can press any key to continue. The server is running in the background. For some of the stuff it will be doing, you'll need the database also. And you also have to start it running. and you get a window to show you the status of its startup. Now this window is a bit different. This one stays open and provides you with an SQL access to the database. It isn't needed right now, so you can just shut it down. You can verify that the web server is running by logging in as the administrator. First, however you do it in your system, crank up your web browser. This comes up with the home page of another server on my local network. The name of your local computer is localhost, and you want to address the administrator port, which on my system, I allowed it to default to 4848. And here you see the main administration window, and you can log directly in using the login name and passwords that you specified when you install the system. Later on, I will show you how this can be used to deploy and undeploy things, but right now it's just being used to verify that the server has been installed and that it is up and running.